Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new version of Synth available at gosynth.com. This is a great little platform for recording short podcasts and having people reply with audio messages of their own. It's been around for a while and it just got a revamp, so let's take a look at how it works now. Let's first of all go to gosynth.com and we're going to log in. You can log in with a Google account, Apple account, or even your Twitter account if you want. Let's log in with a Google account. I'm going to use that Google account right there. And the first thing you'll notice is that now when you sign in, you're, you'll be looking at channels. And you can see I have a demo channel here. Let's make a new channel. And let's call this one Richard's demo channel number two. This is just for demonstration purposes. And now down in the bottom right, let's click start channel. And we'll see here we have a link for our channel and this link will allow anybody to listen to the recordings that are within this channel. This link here, the link and the code, that will allow someone to listen and reply to the audio recordings. And don't worry, by default, all those submissions are moderated. You can see we also have an embed code if we want to embed the entire channel into a web page, we can do that as well. So I'm going to copy that web link and code. We'll use that again in just a minute here. So now we can customize our channel a little bit. We can add a background image. This is kind of like if you're going to use uh, or customize a background in a YouTube channel, the same kind of idea. Maybe I'm going to use this picture of a buffalo or a bison. as my bison picture, maybe I'll use it, use that one, or maybe I'll pick a different one. Maybe I'll just use this picture of an airplane. And so we'll see, I'm gonna use that one and click done. And now we'll have that as our background. Now, in our header image here, we have this additional little menu. And you go into the settings here, and here we'll have our channel code again. You can see you can block session users. So that will only allow people who have a synth account to listen and participate. And you can see here by default, everything is moderated. You can turn that off if you like. I don't recommend doing that though. Let's save this channel. Now let's add our first recording. And to add a recording, just hit this big plus symbol. And one of the things that's updated in GoSynth from the previous version is you have a lot longer recording time than you did in the past, but you still have the tools for starting and stopping your recording and resuming it when you want to. So let's take a look at that. Welcome to my second demo channel on GoSynth. This is a fantastic platform for recording messages and having people re respond with messages of their own. GoSynth just recently published a lengthy blog post about how to use this in a professional coaching environment. And I'd encourage you to read their blog post as well. Now you'll see there, I can stop the recording and I can resume it. You can see I have up to 30 minutes to record. And this is just a demo of me resuming the recording after pausing it for a few seconds. Now let's click done. And my recording will get uploaded to GoSynth. I can play it back if I want to. Welcome to my second demo channel on GoSynth. If I like it, let's hit the next button. If I don't like it, we'll re-record it. Let's hit next.
Now, I can put in a link to the article that I mentioned. So let me bring up that link. And here's the link. Let's put that link right there in my recording channel. And you can see up here, I still have the option to upload another background image just for this recording. So maybe I want to use this lighthouse. And we'll hit done. And that'll be the background image for that recording. Now let's hit next and hit the send button. And there's my recording. Now we can play it back. You can see here we can share it. We can go ahead and get that web link for it. Now that web link will just let people listen to my recording. You can see here I can also tweet it out. We can get this little link as well. Get a link there. But I'm going to close this out because I want to bring up once again the link to this channel I've just created with the code. And I'm going to show you how people respond to recordings that are in your channel. So let's go ahead and get that channel code it's right there. And I'm going to bring up another window to show you how a student or a colleague might go about listening to your channel and responding to things in your channel. So let's do this. We'll go to gosynth.com. And again, we're going to log in. We'll use a Google ID. And make sure I allow cookies. And we'll see here my student view or colleague view. They can go and put that participation code in. And now they see Richard's demo channel number two. They can listen to this recording. Welcome to my second demo channel. Uh, and they can now record their response to my initial recording. Hey Richard, I'm glad you started this channel. I think this is going to be a great place for us to share our ideas with each other in an asynchronous manner. Then we'll hit the done button. And just like creating a, an initial recording, we're going to hit the next button. Call this one response number one to Richard. And you can see again, you can put in a link on go sim. And there it is. So now we can close that out. And there's the response to Richard. And you will see here, there's a little lock button. Because this is a student view or the, the colleague view. There's a little lock button, meaning it's waiting for moderation. Right now, no one else can hear it except for the channel creator and the person who recorded that response. So as the person who started this channel, now we'll go over here and we'll see, oh, there's a new response. I can listen to it. Hey, Richard, I'm glad you started. And if I want everyone who has access to the channel to hear this response, I'll just click that lock button and unlock it. And now everyone who has access to the channel will be able to hear my original recording as well as the response, in this case, from Mason. So that's an overview of the new version of Synth, which again, you can find at gosynth.com. And as always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.